Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is We're here today with VJ Taboo, who is applying for Master of the Mix Season 2. So Taboo, how do you feel about DJ battles? Well, I think DJ battles are uh, a good indicator of uh, uh, DJ's diversity and skill. Um, it kind of measures a, a DJ's skill set and, you know, uh, whether they can rock a crowd or not, how prepared they are for whatever gig they, they get. Um, I think uh, DJ battles are a good test of a DJ's uh, character as well as, you know. Do you think you um, embrace the evolving technology in the DJ world? Dude, I actually like the evolving technology because when I started out using records, uh, there was no way really t to uh, do all the crazy stuff that you could actually do now. You know, you could do all your remixes on the fly, which back in the day, you know, it was just whatever you had. How do you feel about laptop DJs, you know, um, DJs that don't use turntables or CDJs? I still believe they're DJs, but I don't believe that they, sh that they deserve a lot of the hype that, they, uh, that they're getting because there's actually no... Uh, it, it's kind of like, how do you feel about a digital artist, somebody who, who paints straight up on Photoshop versus uh, an artist that paints with a paintbrush? You know, I, I believe I'm still more of the guy who paints, you know, with a paintbrush. Uh, I am, you know, but I, I embrace digital technology. I just don't believe that a DJ who only depends on their laptop should receive the hype that, you know, that the commercial media is giving them. Then what, in your opinion, makes a great, a great DJ? A great DJ is just someone who can rock a party as well as exhibit, you know, their skill set. Ultimate question, why do you feel you're the next master of the mix? Um, you know, I, I would never call myself a master, but, you know, I'd like to, you know, give the world uh, a chance to see, you know, what I'm made of and, uh, and just exhibit some of the skills that I've learned uh, over the past 17 years.